Hi guys, Farah Princess here again with another video. Livingston Kane, a juror accused of offering $500,000 to influence other jurors to return a not guilty verdict in the murder trial against Donsal Artis Vibes Cartel has been sentenced to 12 months imprisonment at hard labor. However, he is to spend nine months in prison as he was remanded on December 13th, 2022, after he was found guilty of attempting to perverting the courts of justice. And that was added as time he spent. The sentence was handed down by the parish judge, Maxine Ellis, in the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court on Thursday after being postponed twice due to Kane's illness that had landed him in the hospital. A social inquiry report, which was requested by the defense team, was not prepared also stalled the sentencing. Ellis spoke about the seriousness of the offense. Justice is the pillar in which any civilization is built. No one should be allowed to interfere with the investigation, the judge said. She added that she considered this charge to be a serious matter and of public interest. A sentence in hearing was held on Wednesday at which Cain's sister and daughter stood as character witnesses. They testified that Cain is a humble family man and a very good father. Cain was on bail for eight years. However, it was revoked by Ellis on December 13th, 2022. Cain is reportedly represented by defense attorney Valerie Nita Robinson, QC. Cartel was ultimately found guilty along with his two co-accused for killing Clive Lizard Williams in August 2011 at a house in Havendale, St. Andrew. Jeffrey Reed, attorney holding for Nita Robinson, made a bail application for Kane on humanitarian grounds due to the wound on his right leg. He argued that Kane's wound is not being properly cared for as he had already missed the hospital visit on Monday. However, the judge pointed out that Kane was in court on Monday and should have informed the court that he had a medical appointment. The judge highlighted to the attorney that nothing in the medical report stated March 3rd, 2023, indicated that he had a medical appointment, but recontinued his application that Kane had no previous convictions and prior to being remanded in December, had adhered to his bail condition. Reed also stated that Kane is not a flight risk. However, the application was denied. Ellis advised Reed that he can make another application on the next level in the judiciary system. My viewers and subscribers, let's engage in the comment section and please remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell.